Hello, Internet! I'm Ellie the Purple Ergifus, and welcome to Buddy Reads, where I read a small selection of a book and review it for you. Today we are continuing our journey through The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss, and covering chapters 59 through 65. I hope you've read up to that point yourself, because I do not want to ruin anything for you. At the beginning of this section, Kavoth goes to retrieve the mayor's medicine from the medicine man. Can't remember his name right now. It's not really that important. He goes to visit the medicine man. The medicine man is kind of this local town gossip. Kvoth wants to learn more about the mayor, but he doesn't want it to look like he is just learning about the mayor. He also wants to learn more about this woman that the mayor wants him to court for him. And so he goes to talk to the medicine man. The medicine man says, so what are you doing here? And Kavoth lies. Kavoth says, I am a genealogist and I am here to learn about these two families. And he names off the mayor's family and the woman's family. The medicine man, being a town gossip, is like, oh, I have so many stories about them. But they're not nearly as interesting about these stories about these other families that you should check out. The medicine man is talking about this the entire time while he is making the mayor's medicine. And Kavos is like, you know, those other families are kind of, that's fine that you know those things, but I can't really use that. I, I I can't absorb that information and keep it straight with what I'm studying right now. So if you just concentrate on the two that I'm that I am concentrating on, we'll be just fine. And of course, the medicine man is a bit hurt by this, but he says, "Yeah, fine." So Kavoth picks up this medicine and he goes back to the mayor, and the mayor says, "Thank you for my medicine." And Kavoth says, "Do not drink it. That is poison." Mayor's like, you are a fool. I have been drinking this for years, and I feel fantastic when I drink it. Kvothe says, please, just let me prove this to you. Please. And the mayor says, how? How are you going to prove that the medicine that I love is poison? And Kvothe says, bring in some birds. We'll have them drink it. And if they are fine, then... Your medicine is fine. And so the mayor sends off his manservant to go get some birds, and the manservant is like, back with birds, almost at an instant. The whole time that the manservant was away, which wasn't very long, the mayor is like, you are a fool, Kvothe, and if you are wrong, you are out. I am done working with you. And Kvothe is like, I am positive that you are being poisoned right now. The mayor says, how long will this take? I can't go this long without my medicine. And Kavos says, well, it, they're birds. Their metabolism is much faster than humans, so we'll find out within a day or two rather than the months and months and months that you've been using this medicine on yourself. And the mayor's like, it better. Why wouldn't he just kill me when he had the chance? And Kavos says, it's better to keep you sick and alive than it is to kill you because right now you're kind of I'm not sure exactly why he doesn't want to kill you but he wants to keep you alive but hindered and they have kind of a back and forth and Kavoth pours the medicine into the feeders for the birds and then he says we will come back next week or I will come back tomorrow and check on these birds and the mayor says they will be fine my medicine is perfect and he won't have any of it. Bredin visits Kvothe, and they are talking about the manservant. Bredin says the manservant is up to some skeevy, skeevy things. And Kvothe is like, what are you talking about? And he's like, he comes in and out whenever he pleases, and he is doing just some nefarious things while he's going in and out. And Kvothe is like, well, what do you mean? And Bredin kind of talks about the manservant's past. And it turns out that the manservant used to be very, very rich, but now he's very, very poor. And Kvothe is like, why is he working for the richest man in the world if he was like that? And Breton's like, oh. Kvothe, of course, gets very paranoid of everyone. Paranoid of Breton. Paranoid of the manservant. Paranoid of Mayor himself. The next day, Mayor is feeling better, and he's out of bed, and he's walking around, and he's like, Ha ha, I told you! My medicine wasn't killing me! Kvothe goes to check on the birds, and they're fine! Flying and swinging and doing everything around in the cage. Everything is perfect! Mayor is pissed! Kvothe goes back to the medicine man, and he pays attention to when the medicine man is mixing his potions, trying to make sure that, you know, no 
Metal gets into the potion and he's watching him with a watchful eye and he's got like these thoughts in his head like is he doing this on purpose? Maybe he's doing it on accident. Maybe he doesn't know what he's doing. Maybe he only thinks that he's magic and he looks at this talisman and the medicine man says oh go ahead and pick it up and he picks up the talisman it's got this like i believe it was a dragon on the talisman and he's like running his finger over it and it bites him and he's like your 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 talisman bit me he's like yeah it'll do that and that's when kavoth knows that well the medicine man knows what he's doing and the medicine man knows that he is poisoning and he goes back to the mayor and the mayor is like i do not trust you kavoth Go to your room. I do not want to see you. Oh, I forgot. After he says to the mayor, this is poison and tries to prove that it's poison with the birds, he goes to town to get more supplies to, you know, prove that it's poison. And while he is in town, you'll never guess who he runs into. Dinner. Yes, that's right. Dinner is back in his life. And I'm just like, oh, why? 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 So Dennis back and they had their own, you know, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here either. What are you doing here? I can't tell you. What are you doing here? I can't tell you. Uh, oh gosh. Both has this moment with Denna, comes back, and he is very happy. Of course. Both goes to visit the medicine man and the medicine man is giving him more gossip. Both brings the medicine back to the mayor, and the mayor is like, Ha ha, I told you my medicine was fine. Ha ha, ha ha ha, I am awesome. At that point, I'm kind of like, how does it feel, Kvothe? How does it feel when someone's like, I am better than you? Because Kvothe is like that to a lot of characters in this story. Both books. He's like, I am so much better than you. Just like, mm. The mayor is like, I am so much better now. I don't even need that tea. You drink it. And Kavoth says, okay. And he drinks the tea down. Fine. It was bitter, but just like it was, he was able to swallow it. Mayor's like, <laughs> now leave. Go and get me more medicine. Off Kavoth goes, and he is sitting in the medicine man's shop when all of a sudden he starts to feel a little woozy. He starts to kind of feel the room spinning. And he starts to feel the same. Something's wrong with his feet. Something. And it starts to feel a little... And my card is full. So, welcome back to Buddy Reads the Podcast. Basically, the mayor slipped Kavoth a mickey in the tea that he, he forced him to drink, which caused Kavoth to pass out at the medicine man's place. He wakes up in his own room, and he is, you know, of course, downtrodden. He's looking out his window when he sees a servant doing suspicious things out his window. And Kvothe is like, what is going on over there? And the servant is taking birds out of the room. And he's talking with someone. No, the servant is just talking with someone. And Kvothe is like, I wonder who that person is. I wonder if that's the real killer. And Kvothe wakes up the next day and he's in a bad mood. And he tries to get out of his room. And when he opens the door, there's a man standing there. And the man's like, I have been ordered to guard you. You are not to leave my presence. You are not to get out of my presence. And Kvothe is like, okay. And he closes the door and he sneaks out his window to, of course, meet Denna. Kvothe and Denna talk. And Denna says, I have a patron. And Kvothe is like, that is so amazing for you. Who is it? And she says, I can't tell you. I just, I, uh, I hate the interactions between Denna and Kvothe so much. Kvothe is like, he's very edgy about this patron, but he still congratulates Denna on her work. Kvothe comes back after meeting with Denna and he gets to the front door and he walks through the front door and he walks to his room and there are two guards there. And they basically repeat the same spiel. Uh, we are here to guard you. You are not allowed to leave our presence. <sighs> Please remain in your room. And he goes into his room and he's like looking out the window and there's a guard there at the bottom of the window too. And he's like, smart. He gets called back into the mayor's room and the mayor is like, so I am feeling fine. My birds are feeling fine. So you must be feeling pretty stupid right now. And it gets... It gets really close to the point that Mayor is about to kick Kvoth out. Right before he does, the manservant walks in. The manservant has something in his hands. And Kvoth is like, 
What is that that you have there? The manservant says, nothing. And he says, come on, tell us, what is it that you have there? And the manservant opens his hand and it's a dead bird. And Kaboth says, aha! The mayor sees the dead bird and he's like, what is the meaning of this? And the manservant says, well, they, the birds were making you so happy. I didn't want the you know, the death of these birds to bring you down. So I, I've been replacing the dead ones with live ones. And the mayor says, how long have you been doing this? And he says, probably since like the second day that you got the birds. And the mayor says, Kvoth, I am so sorry. Kvoth, you are right. He doesn't punish the manservant because the manservant was only just trying to keep him happy, which is what he was hired to do. All of a sudden, the dynamic switches between the mayor and Kvoth. And the mayor accepts that, you know, Kvoth saved him. He can't really give him anything for saving him, because to give him something would be to put out to the world that this happened, or that Kvoth had done something for him beyond what he was there to do. He gives him a white ring, and Kvoth has no idea what this white ring is for. And he also says, if you need anything, anything at all, please, please just tell me. And Kvothe is like, oh, of course I will. And it, the mayor essentially writes a blank check for Kvothe for saving his life. And Kvothe is sitting in his room and he's looking at the white ring when Bredin comes in to play more tat. And Bredin looks at the white ring and is like, wow, I've never seen one of those, but I've heard of them. And Kvothe is like, what is it made out of? And Bredin says, it's made out of bone. That is one of the most expensive and highly regarded rings ever made. Kvothe is like, oh. Well, what am I to do with it? And Bredin's like, you keep it. And Bredin and him sit down to play tack. And that's pretty much where the section ends. I am not happy that Den is back. I'm not happy that Kvothe was right either. I was really hoping that he was wrong. I wanted Kvothe to be wrong so very, very bad. Every time Kvothe gets knocked down a peg, I get a little bit happier. And it's not so much that I hate Kvothe, but whenever he acts so pompous and full of himself, it just rubs me the wrong way. If you like what I'm doing, go ahead and click the subscribe button. If you like this video specifically, go ahead and click the like button. And go ahead and leave a comment letting me know how you feel about both when he's like so full of himself and so perfect and awesome. I've been always the purple hair doofus. This has been Buddy Reads reminding you to watch the pajama radius and I will see you all in the next section of The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Ruffus. Toodles!